Today we're going to be going over how to upgrade a JLG 2646ES electric scissor lift. Now before operating these machines, you're always going to want to make sure that you have your AEM manual, your ANSI's responsibilities manual, and your operator's manual. Those are always going to be located here in this weatherproof compartment on the platform. Now let's go ahead and take a look in these compartments down below. Now that we're down here on the right hand side of this machine, by taking both of these handles, turning them to your left to unlock them, go ahead and pull out your battery drawer, and always be sure to push it all the way in and lock it back into place. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side. Now that we're over here on the left hand side, the same rules are going to apply. Both these latches all the way to the left, go ahead and pull your battery tray out. That's going to expose your other two batteries, so this machine is going to have a total of four batteries, so it's going to be a 24 volt system. Always make sure, push it back into place, lock your latches. Now let's go ahead and look at the emergency down in the 110 platform. The 110 platform is going to be located right here on the left hand side of this machine towards the rear, right above the data tag. So you're going to want to plug your extension cord in right here, and that's going to allow you to have power on your platform up top here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the emergency down. All right, for your emergency down, if this machine's stuck in there for any reason and your, and your buddy cannot get down, simply by pulling out this red handle attached to the cable, always be sure to push it back in to lock it back into place when you're done. That's gonna get you down. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ground controls. The ground controls on the JLG 2646ES are located on the right hand side towards the rear of the machine. To operate this machine here from the ground controls, you're going to always want to make sure this e-stop here is out and this key switch is turned all the way down. That's going to allow you to have power to the ground controls here. Now to lift and lower this machine from the ground controls, you have a toggle switch right here in the center. You're going to and then down to bring her down. Now to send power to your platform, again, with this e-stop continue to be out, go ahead and take the key switch, turn it upwards, and then you're at power at your platform. Now let's go ahead and go to the platform controls. To operate the platform controls, again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure this e-stop is out. To drive this machine here, all the way to the right for the toggle switch, that's going to allow you to drive it. All the way to the left is going to be left. Now you're going to be running your functions off of this joystick here. And this dead man switch, which is located on the front side of the joystick here, you're going to always want to have that kicked in to allow any of your functions. So again, with this toggle switch all the way to the right, that's going to be for drive. That's going to allow you to reverse forward and you're always going to steer off these top rockers so this is going to be left and that's going to be right now for lift toggle switch all the way to the left pull your stick back that there's going to allow you to lift up and then to bring her down again joystick forward you also have a horn located all the way on the right hand side of the platform box now let's go ahead and lock it in place on the platform. So to lock this platform box in the proper position, again, you're gonna have these four latches here. You're gonna wanna line those up right inside the sheet metal here. Lock it in. Always make sure this latch is locked in tight. And that's good to go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this extension deck. All right, so go ahead and unlock this extension deck. You're going to have two handles up here. You're going to want to raise those up towards you. You're going to want to push it out right there. Lock them into place while you're using the machine with the extension deck out, just so you don't have any slide going on while you're working. And then make sure to always lock it back into place when you're done. So again, levers up, back into place, lock them in and it's good to go. Whenever this machine's not in use, I'd recommend plugging it into your charger. Your charger cord is going to be located right below the ground control box here. Go ahead and plug your extension cord in. Your indicator lights for the chargers are located right here and also your hour meter. Today we went over how to operate a JLG 2646ES electric scissor lift. 
This video was not intended to take place of any comprehensive training program. If you would like any training on any of these machines, you can go ahead and contact us at Alexander Equipment. Go ahead and leave a comment, link below. Go ahead and share the video if you like it. Thank you much.